1931, Thomas Edison said, we are like tenant farmers chopping down the fence around our house for fuel when we should be using nature's inexhaustible sources of energy. I'd put my money on the sun and solar energy. Now, more than 80 years since Edison said this, our energy needs have come into sharp relief and the quest to future-proof the delivery of electricity is growing substantially more important by the day. The UK stands among the leading adopters of non-fossil fuel-based renewable energies and solar is a vital element of that mix. The sun, of course, is a free and limitless source of energy. And while Britain might not be the sunniest country around, even on a cloudy day, we still receive enough solar irradiation to produce a good amount of electricity from a well-positioned array such as this. It's important to know that these panels don't use heat, they use light particles, or photons, hence solar energy's other name, photovoltaics. So as long as the sun keeps rising in the morning, these solar panels will be hard at work. Part of the huge uptake of solar in Britain has been made possible by the installation of solar farms, the large-scale application of solar to generate electricity. Farmers know how to produce crops and livestock in a way which makes best use of their land in perpetuity and feeds the nation. Growers and processors of food have a long history of harnessing the sun for their crops, and solar electricity is just another modern application. And whereas some sources of energy offer no recuperative or sustainably regenerative measures and can actually harm our ecology, owners and operators of solar farms can work with the extraordinary power of the sun to harvest clean, cheap electricity and contribute to powering Britain. These farms generate power locally and feed back into the electricity grid. Once the right site is found, in terms of land use and grid connections, solar panels are laid out in series. They then convert the light energy from photons into electrical energy, which flows into the inverter and then directly into the grid. The scalability of solar makes it hugely flexible. There's no minimum or maximum size a solar farm needs to be in order to work. Nevertheless, ground-mounted solar is actually a very efficient use of land for electricity production compared to other renewable energy options, while still allowing for the management of the land around and under the panels for agricultural purposes. A mere 12 hectares of land is enough to install 5 megawatts of PV. That's enough to power more than 1,500 homes with an amazing 2,150 tonnes of carbon emissions being prevented every year. Indeed, our government-backed aspiration for 2020, which is 10 gigawatts, would only take up 25,000 hectares, a fraction of 1% of the total land available. To put that figure into perspective, the UK throws away 7 million tonnes of food per year, which takes around 285,000 hectares to cultivate, well over 10 times that 10 gigawatt solar footprint. I met Dr Jonathan Skurlock, Chief Advisor on Renewable Energy and Climate Change for the National Farmers Union, who explained the rationale behind using land for energy production. 75% of UK land area is in the agricultural sector. This is really a very large resource. Um, British farmers over the decades have produced a balance of both food and non-food crops uh, for a variety of purposes, not just for food production. And we can see renewable energy diversification opportunities fitting into this. Uh, in, in many cases, there really is little direct competition for land use between renewable energy and more traditional agricultural production. I think the solar industry needs to clearly explain that it is actually quite an efficient use of land for energy production. The land area that has been suggested to produce, say, 10 gigawatts of solar is 25,000 hectares. That is an extremely small figure for total land occupied by solar farms. Uh, it's roughly equivalent to uh, the UK planted area of a minor crop like linseed. Um, it's scarcely a threat to food production. And so we can see this opportunity for renewable energy, I think, to add diversity to our rural landscapes, meet rural energy needs and how we can certainly see a, a very strong role for solar power, ground mounted solar farms because of their comparative efficiency of land use in adding to that mixture. The equation is simple and undeniable. The only real way we have to reduce our carbon emissions is to reduce our fossil fuel consumption. So for our nation's energy security, we need to find a mix of clean, renewable energies and we need to find it as soon as possible. Solar is a cheap, efficient source of energy. 
simple to install and maintain, ground-mounted solar farms are the best way we have to harness the boundless energy of the sun and to ensure we're doing everything we can to provide for our future.